Welcome, welcome, my name is Little Cubes and this is just another Redstone video. It's been a while since I uploaded my last video, which was a obsidian generator. Well, a semi-automatic obsidian generator. You still need to get the lava for it. But what we got here is our next video. I always do that. We've got a um, auto miner. I've got it paused right here by placing that block there. But we're going to go down here and show you it in its simple area. Alright, so this obsidian block keeps it so it doesn't continue flying off that way. This is how I'm going to start and stop it because I don't have an automatic thing like I do over there. So what we got for our flying machine is one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks. And then right here, these five blocks, including this block right here, is a resender that I built, which means once I send this off, and it grabs, once it finds out that it's grabbed blocks, it's these five blocks here are going to send the flying machine black with the blocks. But what we can do, as you may notice, we can add a couple of, uh, what are these called, slime blocks? Yeah, slime blocks to this machine, which means we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and we've got 12, 13, which is weird because it'll still work with 13 blocks even though pistons can technically only push 12, which is weird. But what we're going to do is we're going to send this off. And keep in mind, these two blocks can be put anywhere you want on this flying machine itself. These blocks right here. But um, when I built this over here, I didn't add any extra ones because it made it more complicated. So you can keep in mind, you can put these anywhere on it that you want. That's part of the six. You can have two coming off here. It don't really matter. It'll work all the same. So I'm just going to add these two there. Then I'm going to update that. And see, so it'll send the flying machine off. And once it grabs blocks, it's going to send it back. And then since I got this obsidian here, it'll stop. Then you, you'd build one of those kind of machines to remove these blocks for you. And then it would automatically send it back. We can watch it grab some more blocks. And then get sent back again. Oh, I see what it did. There's one too many blocks. That If it does this, and it just stops with these three out here, there's too many blocks connected to it. And it's stuck because of the piston. So what we're going to do, send it back, is come in here and break, yeah, this observer. Place it back. Oh my goodness. And then I'm just going to place, whoops, that's not stone. These back to where they're exactly the same match as that. And then, that one. Because obviously right here is the only part coming back, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus the 8, 9. Right, we'll count it once it comes back again. Alright, let's send it off one more time. And then it'll grab blocks and then come back. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll count it. Alright, we got the 6 base ones for the flying machine, then we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 9 blocks. Huh. wonder why the other thing didn't work. Well, it's all up to you on how many, um, how many slime blocks you want to add on to this. As I showed you before, if the flying machine right here gets separated at this middle line between the two sticky pistons, that means it's picked up too many blocks and it can't come back because it's too heavy. We're just going to place that back. And we're going to send it off again. We can watch it a couple of times. See, it grabs stuff. This is obviously the best place to put it is at the bottom of the world because then it'll grab the most blocks. And it'll grab ores and stuff as well, like the diamonds. Okay, so if we come up here to where I built this thing, the, all this other stuff that's added on that's not down here is stuff to get rid of the blocks once, like, these stone blocks 
once it gets brought back and then it'll send it after it grabs everything. So what we got here is one, two, three. These things here will take the blocks and line them up. Oh, that one here, two, fourth. We'll take all of these. Okay, let's see, this side, I believe, this one gets pulled out to here and this one gets brought over to that, like that. The other side lines up as well. If we go on over, whoops, a little higher. This one, here, let me look over here again. Okay, so this one gets pushed over and this one gets pulled over. Then we got these pillars lined up, which we got triple piston extenders right here, which will send them up a little bit, which will get them out of the way of the machine. So what I'm going to do here, I think I need to start from this side, remove that, then I'm going to remove this so it'll start like it's coming back from grabbing stuff, and we'll just watch, there we go, we'll bring it back, we'll push all the blocks out of the way, and then we'll send it again. I'm just going to get rid of these, because these triple piston extenders can obviously only push 12 blocks up, so what you would do is have another set of pistons pushing it into, ideally a square shape where you can mine later, but it'll send it off again. And I'm going to want to pause that round here somewhere. I'm just going to stand back here. Once it comes back, we'll click on the observer face, which will pause it. Because we've got something it can't push. Oh my goodness, that was close. That was going to squish me. Yeah, it got paused like that midway into its thing. So if I just update that again, it'll bring everything back to it together. Okay, so we got that paused. Things to note, this, okay, let's see, right here, these two blocks where this resender goes, which means everything in line of this, these two blocks right here would have to be dug out for this resender to go, and this resender will just keep going all the way until it hits this block right here. Since it can't push this, it's just going to stop here because I don't want the flying machine going off that direction. But it will continue going if you don't have obsidian or anything in the way. Obsidian or furnaces. I think those are, oh, terracotta or something that can't be pushed either. I always forget that. I don't really like the terracotta all that much. It's a selectable block. Let's just put it that way. Just fill that back up just in case I want to keep going because it looks nice. Alright. And let's see here, what was I going to do next? Ah, right. If you're going to add things, slime blocks or anything onto this, so it's it doesn't end up like this and just stop, you want it to remove the blocks and stuff, you have to make sure, here, let's grab, maybe a furnace would be a good thing to count. Mm, yes, because it's got the borders, which would be good if you want to count it off here. All right, nothing next to these blocks and whichever blocks you want to add your slime blocks to, nothing can be next to it. Unlike these areas, like, oh, stop jumping, stop, shift, okay, like that. So, no pistons or anything to remove the blocks can be put in these areas because when it sends off again it'll get stuck to those blocks and then it won't be able to go anymore so if we just that looks real ugly but if we go and click this since those areas can't be stuck to it but I'm just going to remove all this before it comes back. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hi. Let's just say... Let's just take this example here. And assume we want to, I don't know, build some redstone. That'll be like, oh, this is going to be piston here. And maybe there's another piston down here facing up as well. But I'm just going to 
like if you've got stuff maybe you've got building block uh, some sort of building block I would like building with these but I don't know if you can count those maybe you got some sort of building block that's maybe it's got redstone on it or something where's redstone redstone down at the bottom I don't do creative a lot so I don't know where stuff is maybe you've got some redstone but when you send this off again you'll see the problem if you have stuff right next to it, it it'll it'll do that and then it'll get even worse when it runs into actual blocks it'll just stop so make sure you've got everything out of the area next to your slime blocks these areas need to be clear all right anything else I need to add before I end this video off yeah I should probably build it because the observer facing directions are kind of confusing so I'm not gonna build this part here but if you want to look at it oh another thing if you build uh, a machine like this make sure you've got an obsidian block either here or here next to your stuff because you see I get the obsidian block in the middle of my redstone if you don't have that things will go wrong like incredibly wrong this flying machine will take all these blocks that it's grabbed and hammer straight through this entire straight through the entire uh, redstone contraption and all these blocks that would line up with it would get destroyed and then the then it would keep going off that direction which is really bad so make sure you have an obsidian or a furnace or I think terracotta can't be pushed either in the area where where the um what's it called the flying machine would go okay so I'm going to go where's a good spot to build this yeah let's just put it below this one <clears throat> so here let's start by we need slime blocks we need Pistons. Oh, hang on. What am I missing? An observer. Then we need a block of choice, and we're gonna need a redstone lamp. And then a block of choice. I don't know. Something that can be pushed would be nice. And I believe that's all. Oh, we'd need an obsidian or a furnace. I'm just going to. Put a furnace because it's cheaper for you guys just to prove so and then i want to make sure there's enough room to build this i'm just going to go out a few blocks and then oh where'd my oops. oh uh, that's right i said i was gonna use a furnace the <laughs> the obsidian's easier to see so i've been using obsidian when i build it so don't accidentally break it, which I did, and then I broke that obsidian up there, and then my machine plowed right through all my redstone, and I was really mad, and I kind of wanted to give up. But what we got here, we start here, then we want our observer facing. Okay, so this right here, be that in a spot. Okay, how do I put this? Let's see, no, can I reach? Stop jumping. Why do I do that? Face that way. We're gonna come forward by a couple blocks. Gap of two. And then that facing that way. And then slime block in between. And then up here we're gonna have... Whoops! Forget about that. That's why I use the obsidian. So furnaces. We're gonna put those like that. These ones facing in. This is our flying machine and our stopper right there. So if you look at that, these faces are face, the observer faces are facing out. The what's it called? Sticky pistons faces are facing in, like that. And then we got this block, which we're going to continue with facing this way. And then we're going to place that there this one up and then if we face the direction we want it to go place that there so if you look at that you can see this is 
all we need for the um, thing. And then we need to put our drilling hole in. Let's see. Where is that? He's there, I think. Yeah. And then you would take your pickaxe or whatever. And mine as far as you want your thing to go. And just want it to stop. I've got Optifine, so it's still bright over here. You can have whatever you want, though. Okay, considering, considering, since the way I built the, the um, start stopper thing, let's just put that there just in case the doubt is going to go that way. But you can place torches around here so mobs don't spawn if you want. I don't think the mobs will get too much in the way because the thing will just push in that direction. But this thing right here does light up when it moves. So it should help a little bit. Then we would need to, I don't know, place our blocks wherever we want. I don't know, let's place it there. And then you'd want to start that off. And there it goes again. Grab some blocks, comes back. Again, you'd have a machine that would place that away, ideally, depending on where you want it. And then it'll send off again. And grab some more blocks. Wonderful. All right. So I believe that's all there is about this video. I'm just going to stand up here. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment. I do check the comments frequently, even though I don't post frequently. If you have any ideas and other difficult redstone videos, like this auto miner, completely vanilla, and the obsidian generator that I made before, go ahead and comment down below because I will totally try to come up with something. I spent two, three days consistently on this trying to figure it out. It was difficult, but I got it. And if you want something else, let me know. So, thanks for watching. Don't remember. Don't remember. Whoops. Do remember. I get my words fuzzled a little bit. To like, what is it? Like, share, subscribe, all of that stuff. I don't remember the order I had it in before. But I hope to see you around some other time. Bye.